Today we're going to be talking about mid cleat position. It's uh, a thing that's been around like for years now. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. I think like probably the two athletes that most people recognise riding like mid cleat are like Daniela Reef and uh, Jan Fadino. They've always ridden a, a mid cleat position. About four years ago, we also uh, with Lucy Charles, she also rides a mid cleat position. I think she's carried out that on like even now. Uh, and the reason that like a lot of pro triathletes run uh, mid cleat is generally what we can kind of do is. That if we shift this cleat back, we can take the calf out of the equation. But in order to do that, we need like what we call like a, a mid cleat adapter. What happens to this is you take like your general cleat off, and then we bolt this into place. And then what we can do then is we can actually fit the uh, the cleat into the midpoint of like the, the foot. And what that's going to enable you to do is take the calf out of the equation, which is going to be a you know like for a lot of people that have got like calf problems, if they you know like if you see somebody riding and they utilize the calf to kind of pull through the full phase of like the pedal stroke, then what we we're able to do is we fit the mid cleat, which will eliminate the calf, but it will also mean that we can then drop like the saddle. What that will do is that it'll drop, uh, obviously, your saddle position. It'll actually drop your back angle as well. So for some people, it can work like quite, you know, in terms of like aero. Obviously, if you drop like this back angle, it'll uh, make yeah, you can make you like more aerodynamic. So, uh, but it's definitely a good benefit for anyone that's struggling with like, yeah, like calf problems. It's also really good. Like if you look at, you know, a lot of bike fitters will tell you now that actual cleat positioning for like most people especially if you've got like a big foot and say for example we took like a, a city shoe we can actually get the the cleat far enough back so even using like something like a, a mid cleat adapter we can probably get it into like more of what you call more like a center line po point of you know like we've got like the metatarsal joints that we can then pull it actually in the place that we need it to be Downsides of actually riding mid cleat for some people can be that obviously you're going to engage like your quads a little bit more so initially you'll find that they'll get sore. You will get some overlap over the, uh, the front wheel so if you're riding something that's like technically uh, then it's probably not like the best position but for you know like most people that are going to go to like mid cleat they're either going to utilize it for like aerodynamics or they're going to be utilizing it for uh, you know like calf strains calf problems uh, and ultimately trying to be able to run off the bike like more efficiently The other downside with mid cleat that most people experience is the fact that you won't be able to accelerate quite as fast because you're not going to engage the calf. So when you get out of the saddle, it's going to feel like quite just soft, you know what I mean? You've just not got that explosiveness that you probably need. So uh, anyone that's struggling for mid cleat position, it's not something you can, you can probably have a go at it yourself, but you probably need to get a professional bike fit to get it like done like precisely. A cyclist could use it generally around if they've got like a shoe that they're not getting on with. Say if you get like a hot spot uh, on like your shoe, generally it's down to the fact that you can't get the, you know, like this metatarsal joints like here, you can't get the cleat uh, quite far enough back. 
a lot of cyclists would use it like there's quite a few out there that are using it for like just like aerodynamic benefits what has gone wrong in the past is like you know we all know that you go to the wind tunnel and we drop like your saddle height you'll actually drop like your back angle but what that'll also do is restrict you around like the hip as well there is like i would say that generally you, you kind of need to have a you can't just go and drop like your saddle height and not you, you almost like need to move the cleat at like the same point. You you wouldn't really use mid cleat if you're going to do like road racing. It's you're just not going to have that kick like out of the saddle. But you'd use it if you've got a shoe that you're not getting on with. 